Why did the U.S. Navy build tons of Arleigh Burke destroyers instead of more Ticonderoga cruisers? Is the Burke better? Here's the truth. Ticonderogas built on 1970s Spruance hulls were pricey, over $1 billion each, and hard to upgrade due to limited space and power. Their aluminum superstructures cracked, and 400 crew drove up costs. Arleigh Burks, designed in the 1980s, cost less, use all-steel hulls for durability, and need only 300 crew. Their wide-bow design handles rough seas better, and Flight 3 Burks, with SPY-6 radars, match Tyco's air defense role. Tycos have 122 VLS cells to Burks 96, but Burks are more versatile, handling anti-air, anti-sub, and land strikes. Retrofitting Tycos for ballistic missile defense was tough. Burks adapt easily. With Tycos retiring by 2027, Flight 3 Burks and future DDGX take over. Burks are the Navy's workhorse, cheaper, tougher, and future-proof. Which ship's better?